Over the past 20 years or so, mass media has taught us how to be outraged. During that time, our interaction with the world went into the palm of our hand so that this outrage was on tap 24-7. With the development of social media, not only were we consumers of outrage, but many of us became the perpetuators and creators of it. How dare he? Can you believe this? People will die if that happens. The world is being destroyed. She is evil. I hate cake. Outrage is not just for things like politics. It's literally everywhere. Now, the problem is that outrage is insanely addictive and contagious. When you watch your favorite public figure get outraged and totally own someone you disagree with, it feels good. Similar to gambling and doing drugs, when you participate in this outrage, your brain is flooded with chemicals like epinephrine and dopamine, and we dose ourselves all day, every day, staring down at our phones. And like any drug, the more we use it, the more we require to get high. So pretty soon, we become the spitting drunk at the bar who is screaming about how stupid everyone is and how right we are. And that pretty much sums up our current state. Millions of outraged people insisting that what they believe is the only way to believe. Now, one of the problems with addiction is that critical thinking tends to be the first thing to go out the window when the focus is on getting the next fix. Therefore, those of us who are not addicted look at these people, roll our eyes, and try our best to ignore them, but we honestly kind of feel bad for them. Many times what they are doing and saying seems nonsensical, but it's harder and harder to ignore them because many of us are using social media. We are looking at our friends' pictures, we like watching videos of our nieces and nephews at piano recitals, and we love being connected. But these people keep flooding our feeds with their outrage. Yes, we choose who we are connected with and what we can see, but outrage is so contagious because it's so compelling. Ever been scrolling through Facebook and you see a friend post something that says, I never get involved in politics, but I just have to say this. And we're like, oh snap, here we go, grab a Snickers bar, a Diet Coke, and let's kick back and spend 30 minutes reading 145 outrageously nasty comments under this post. It feels so good reading that nonsensical outrage, but when it's over, we kind of feel regret. You know, like doing drugs. It's just not healthy. So here are three things I keep telling myself. Decrease your use of social media. Ignore the unhealthy posts. Just scroll right past. Don't read them. And unfollow those who are constantly outraged. Good luck.